So today at the clinic, we've got quite a sad case. We've got the case of this little bunny here. Um, she doesn't have a name yet. She was due to be rehomed this weekend um, to her new owners, but the people who've brought her up noticed that today, her left hind legs are at a really dodgy angle. Uh, and on examination, it's pretty obvious that she's got a fracture there. Um, now we've discussed perhaps sending the, the fracture off to be repaired, or even perhaps putting her to sleep because it's quite a nasty injury, but we've decided, given that she's only seven weeks old, that we're going to go ahead and amputate the leg. But the real risk here today is, is the anaesthetic itself, because rabbit anaesthetics are always a bit riskier than, than cat and dog's anaesthetics. Not only that, but we've got a seven week old rabbit and a really small one. So the nurses and I are going to have to be really on our game to make sure that everything goes okay with the operation. She's had her pain relief now, and we're just waiting for the drugs to kick in. Uh, and as soon as she's ready, we're going to go straight through to surgery. Here we go. So the little bunnies are all asleep and she's currently being clipped up and, and ready to come straight through to theatre. Um, and we've, we've got to get on with the surgery as soon as possible because there's real risks. The longer they're under the anaesthetic of things going wrong, um, as I mentioned earlier, not only because she's a bunny uh, and they don't respond as well to the, to the medication, um, but also in really young animals, really small animals, they don't metabolise the drugs very well. Uh, they get very cold under the anaesthetic. Their sugar levels get really low really quickly. So really speed is of the essence and you have to use the safest drugs at the lowest concentration you can get away with. Um, so we're going to make a start ASAP. So we've all finished now and she's coming round from the surgery. Uh, surgery went very well, it's just a case of um, how she's going to recover from the anaesthetic. Now we've got the leg off, you can see quite nastily where that, that break was and um, that was obviously quite a nasty fracture that she sustained this morning but she should feel a lot better now that's gone. So Bunny's come round from the anaesthetic brilliantly. Um, she's moving around the cage very well and she started to eat again for herself too. So great news and we're still early days, we still always worry about these guys for the first couple of days after the surgery but so far so good and I don't feel she'll let me show you. But you can see here where she's had the leg removed. And this is the little wound. There's no sutures in there because bunnies are really good at trying to get them out. So they're all buried underneath the skin. And um, we'll keep a close eye on her over the next couple of days um, and backed up, up until about two weeks to check that everything's healing okay and that she makes a full recovery. But so far, I'm really pleased with how she's doing.